Hello, Jesse Good here, back from the review, and today we're reviewing kind of an untraditional set. It's a 2015 LEGO Store exclusive set. It's called the Pencil Pod. It has 174 pieces, two minifigures, and retails for $15 in the United States. It is set number 40154, and you may be wondering, what the heck is a Pencil Pod? Well, a Pencil Pod is just a place where you kind of put your pencils and office supplies, uh, and this one acts as that, but it also has a cool design of a house. So, without further ado, let's get into the minifigures of this set. Alright, so here's the first minifigure. Very common pieces that they use here, but still it's effective. This guy's supposed to be maybe a construction worker or just a guy working on the house, and you can clearly see that uh, just by his appearance. And that's it for this minifigure, and now on to the next. And here is the next minifigure, just a female who probably lives at the house or is maybe affiliated with the construction worker, like a spouse or something like that. And she's really cool because she doesn't only have an uncommon torso, which is a little bit more rare because it was, I believe, first introduced in the Bricks and More theme. Uh, but she also has an uncommon face, which is a newer face from last year, originally introduced in a Lego movie set. Uh, but it's very expressional, or it has like a lot of, I guess, character to it. I really do like it. And it doesn't come in too many other sets. And this is the cheapest way you can currently get it so that's it for that and now let's go on to the build itself all right so here is the pencil pot itself i mean it is a house design which is very cool because what lego has done is basically if you don't care about putting pencils in here you could just have a simplistic house design and they really did very well with the price point here so anyways just looking at the house design like i said very simplistic a little bit reminiscent of the classic town sets of the 80s and i like that about this it even fits in with some of the creator houses in terms of the color scheme and simplistic design but there is kind of a story to this which is shown on the box and the instructions where you kind of got this guy who's working on a house and his full power of working on the house is making a lot of things go wrong. Uh, so that kind of explains this little part on the front where this little pot of uh, flowers is kind of knocked off on the ground from the ledge, which I think is very cute. You actually can't really put this on here too stably because um, if you do, you can see just a little minuscule, the, the flower part won't really stick on, and that's just basically how it's displayed. Uh, so that's kind of a shame, uh, but it is nice that they kind of made up for that by making it part of the story. And also, you got this little part missing right here, which is just this part on the floor, which he's probably building up this area, and that's probably the last piece of resistance to add on here, so you just could easily add that on by lifting up this little roof tile piece, and then voila, the house is complete. Um, but it's not totally complete uh, in terms of just the idea of a house because this whole part's open. But it's complete for the set because they don't really include a balcony part, which is kind of a shame. It is a little bit disappointing. I would have much uh, had, or I would have really liked to have a balcony part um, that can easily be removed, like this little roof part in this corner right here, which actually reveals a upper room it looks like, um, kind of like an attic or something, which you can't really fit uh, a minifigure in there too well. You're going to have to kind of squish them in there. Um, but you can see that she could easily lay in there like that, and you could just put on the, the little roof pot part right here, and it slips on like that very stably. So that is very, very cool in terms of the design, and unfortunately there's not really much inside the actual little house itself. Um, there's no furniture or anything, but I understand, you know, they wanted to keep the price down. So that's really it for terms of the build, um, but you know, this is a pencil pot, so let's see if it does fit pencils. So I got some good Ticonderoga pencils, which is obviously the best pencil brand out there. And it fits pencils very, very well, and I like that about this. And they even give you a part to maybe fit some paper clips or something with the little upper attic room right there. So that's really cool. And you could even fit a little pen in there for Florida National College. Ooh, I hate that place. And there you go. All together, it works just fine. So that is it for the pencil pot set. Um, I guess let's go on to the final verdict. I say final verdict, I meant the box. Here's a look at the box. Very different material on the box. It's a very thin type of material we use here, so I guess that's maybe a cost-saving measure um, on LEGO's part. And also you do get a very thin kind of instruction booklet right here. No advertisements or anything to it, just a little parts list on the back. So now let's take a look at the final verdict. All right, so that was a pencil pod set. What do I think of it? It's a winner in my book because you got a, a, basically a desk kind of utensil here, you know, a place to hold your pencils. But what LEGO does is they use their creativity skills and they made it something else. They made it a house that looks like a house, but you could put your pencils in there. And I like it when they do that. I really hope they start doing that with more of these kind of store exclusive sets because it adds a little bit of taste to the set, you know, it adds a little bit of a, you know, pizzazz or whatever. And I really like the design of this house. I think the design of the house is very well done, especially for the price. 
Um, because sure, if this was a $30 set, yeah, it'd be kind of a crappy house. But the price is so good. I mean, it exceeds the price per piece ratio of 10 cents per piece. Um, because you got 174 pieces for $15. And you got these cool little details to boot with that, with the basic house design. You got a little lamp, even a little gardening part on the side. A whole story going on just displayed by the box with the ladder and the, the guy fixing the house. And you got a great place to hold pencils. So I will rate this set an A. I think it's an excellent set, especially for $15. My only flaws is I wish they would have included a balcony part that's removable. So if you don't want to use it as a pencil pod, you could easily just, you know, add a little balcony part. But you could easily like I said add a little balcony part without using pieces from the set and just using your own pieces so that's not too much of a flaw um, but it's still there and so that's it for this set really good set overall check it out at your local Lego store and I'll see you guys later bye